In this tutorial, I will explain how to write a template in Cycle. Basically, if you have a code which is being used in multiple components, so every time whenever you need that code in Cycle code, you have to rewrite that code again in each component. So rather than writing that component every time or repeating that code, you can define a template and inside that template, you can write that reusable code. And whenever you require, you can call that template using few other attributes like data silly use and data silly call. And you can reuse that code anywhere whenever you require. Right. So Cytely itself provide you a way to define a template where you will be writing a reusable code. Okay. So in this tutorial, I'll explain about that. So what to writing that uh, template what you have to do you have a uh, attribute or the block statement called data silly template you define that uh, attribute or block statement and inside that you will be writing that template or reusable code once you have written that reusable code or template you will be use data silly use to call that file where this template is defined right you are aware how data silly is used this is also used to call your sling model objects then you will use data silly call to use a specific template written in that file okay by passing object suppose you want to pass some object as well to that template so you will be passing that object as well using data silly call so it's a self-explanatory i'll show you demo so you will understand this so let, let's jump into the demo straight away in previous tutorial i explained data silly list and i'll show you different use cases using data cell list okay so that was my component i was using and that was my uh, cycle file of that component so out of these uh, different use cases i'll show you one or two use case how you can reuse that code using template okay so there is a uh, data cell with map and data cell with map or list i'll show you by writing this code in a template okay so how you can write the template for that you have to define a cycle file you can define write that Cytely file anywhere in your repository but for simplicity I am writing in a simple same component so just create a file called author whatever the file name you can have but it should be HTML file as Cytely support HTML okay okay so I created a file inside that file you have to write to declare uh, a template you have to use this data silly template okay so basically this 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 tag or the attribute define okay this is my template and then you have a variable or the identifier this one right so th this basically this will be used uh, when you will be calling this template so this will be the name by which you will call this template and then this inside that expression tag you have the books this is the variable basically in which variable you will be passing that object from the calling side whenever you call and you need to pass this some object from you know uh, when you call it so this will be the object and we will be using this variable inside the template okay so let's say okay this is the piece of code I when I use a list and list has a map so I'll display that book details so I will be writing this code inside a template okay so let me copy it from here I'll show you completely right that's fine but now the difference is here I'm calling this STL what was the STL STL was basically my sling model object reference right but in template i do not have that in template what i have i have this okay so rather than writing this i will be using this so what i'll do while calling this template i'll pass the sling model object reference to this variable right once i have this variable so i will call this method on that sling model and then uh, i will iterate like book name and book subject okay now i'm done with this template creation now let's see how you can call that template okay now I'll show you how you can call that template for that you have to use data silly call so let let me write it at the end so that you can see the difference okay so div 
and then data and use okay so i edit this i use data silly call and i define a variable or uh, you know identifier by which i will be using uh, this this file so inside that i call that file whatever i created right i created a file this is the my file here if you see the left side I highlighted and then i call this that means now my this file is available inside this variable right now i will call a template if you see in this i have a template called author book so i will be calling this template now also silly so this is the tag silly why i'm using it i'll explain you in different tutorial when i will like only explaining this tag for now you can use div as well it's up to you but just for now uh, let me use it silly uh, you can definitely use div data silly and you can use call okay okay so what i'm saying now okay from this from this file from this file get me this template get me a template with name author book and this file contain a variable assign that my sling object to that variable right now this book now this book variable will having the sling object complete sling object so that way you can call this template okay so now what will happen we'll call this template what we define here okay and we pass this whole sling model object to this books okay inside the books now this book object will have a whole sling model object right from the sling model object now i'm calling this method uh, book detail with map now i have that you know this list object so now i will be iterating this okay it's not necessary that you will pass a complete sling object whatever you want you can pass it it's up to you what you define in your template you can pass that object to template and you can use it okay so let me just build it quickly and let me show you let me deploy this okay okay for just simplicity let me add some identifier so that you can identify this from template because I did not remove that old code, right? So it will be printing both. If you see here, I am already having this code as well. And I here, this code, this is the same code, same functionality. I'm calling it using template. Okay. Save it and just deploy it one more time to my AM. Okay. Now let's refresh it. Let's go bottom. Okay. So you see now from this template, I'm returning because my list has only one map so I'm returning this so this this basically this is printing from template okay and this this was from template and this is from map the same information what is there what is there the same information I'm printing from template so if now you can use this template anywhere just call it uh, that template using data silly uh, use and data silly call you can use it now let's see one more example so okay uh, so let's let's do it one more so what you can do it's not necessary that in a single file you have only one template you can define more than one template as well the same file i'm writing one more template so that you understand it's not any template is not bound to file you can have more than one templates in a single file itself okay so let me write that in a one more template okay so i define one more template which will be used for our map what i define here if you see uh, this place i was using map so the same way i'm writing this this functionality in template so what i did i define a template with name map as maps attribute and the variable is attribute right so let's write that copy that code i want this functionality okay now what will do rather than because now I have attribute so here rather than using this I should use attribute right oh I'm sorry for that copy this and replace this right now this attribute 
will be having map okay so let's do it and now let's call this okay so what you can do you can again call a separate template right? let me call it one more time file I have already called because this both templates in the same file so I have already called this file so now I only need to call this template so what was the template name map attributes okay so I'm calling map attributes but what was my variable it was attributes okay attribute okay. attribute okay and what I pass here is see it's up to you you can pass a complete means complete sling object the purpose here is to show you you can pass a list or a map as well so rather than passing a complete sling object I only pass a map right this was my map so rather than passing it like in earlier I show you how you can pass complete sling object now I'm passing only map right right let me show you and let me build it so when I call this attributes this attribute will contain this map and this map this attribute it will display now in this item as I already explained you in case of map the variable contain key so it will print key okay let me deploy let me show you okay let's refresh it okay so it's coming okay this is the first two lines are from my list and second is key is printing but the values are not printing let me show what is the problem okay now now okay we are using existing syntax so now this is the map and what I have to use this attribute here so it was typo I forgot to change it right okay now let's deploy this Good. okay okay so if you see these two these this is this this is printing from templates and we can define two templates that way you can define and use templates inside lay okay I, I'll give this whole code uh, in my git repo you can take this code from there and you can just practice it I hope you understood this uh, thank you very much